Hi everyone, this is Jace with RMUS, and today we're going to help shed some light on the status of the FAA's implementation of Remote ID. For some background, Remote ID has been a long time coming, and according to the FAA is the ability of a drone in flight to provide identification and location information that can be received by other parties. Basically, the idea behind Remote ID is that it gives the FAA law enforcement, and other entities the means to enforce regulations. This is supposed to be achieved either by hardware built into an aircraft or via an attachable module. This module will enable legacy drones, which are drones purchased before Remote ID implementation, to operate in compliance with Remote ID. The original deadline for manufacturer compliance was September 16, 2022. This means that any new aircraft sold would have to have Remote ID hardware built in. The deadline for user compliance is still September 16, 2023. So what just happened? The FAA has recently published a rule update on Remote ID, delaying the implementation of manufacturer compliance until December 16, 2022. Why? According to the update, the FAA accepted the ASTM standard for Remote ID compliance on August 11, 2022. The update goes on to say that manufacturers may not have had adequate time to comply with the accepted means of compliance released in August in only a month. As a result, between now and the new deadline, we will likely begin to see Remote ID compliant drones released more widely. But until the actual date of December 16, 2022, any drone you do purchase is not required by law to comply with Remote ID requirements. In these cases, those attachable modules that we mentioned earlier would be necessary for pilots to obtain and attach to their aircraft for the drone to meet compliance once it goes into effect for users on September 16, 2023. This still leaves us with a slew of unanswered questions. A lot of confusion on this topic remains for manufacturers and consumers alike. Here are a few things we do know. Some manufacturers that we spoke to have already included this technology into existing aircraft, or at least are considered compliant. As of September 9th, the FAA has released a list of aircraft that are considered compliant. This includes the DJI M30, M30T, the Mavic Mini 3 Pro, the Mavic 3, and others. What exactly does Remote ID compliant mean? We don't actually know. Which brings us to a few things that we don't know. When speaking with manufacturers, we found that while some have successfully built and integrated compliant modules, they have not yet been told where or how the hardware will need to report the required data. Also, what do these broadcast modules for legacy aircraft look like? Where can they be purchased? How much do they weigh? Can I transfer them between different aircraft? How will they integrate, if at all, with my aircraft system? These are just a couple of questions that haven't yet been answered. So what do you need to do? As a consumer, the answer at this moment is nothing. Compliance for consumers, which for all intents and purposes refers to legacy drones, will not be in effect until September of 2023. Also, make sure you're aware of changes and developments to Remote ID as they're announced. The December deadline is just around the corner, which means, assuming everything goes to plan, the landscape should take shape in the very near future. Stay tuned to this channel for updates on when remote aircraft and modules become more widely available. And for any other questions, contact us directly at ask at rmus.com. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more drone and robotics news and updates.